So reaching the last mile of the unbanked, the problem statement that the FDIC uh, presented to us at the beginning of this tech sprint, and we at Team Goal Setter, uh, we're a financial technology application that provides savings accounts, debit cards, and a financial education for young people and families across the country. And so when we thought about entering into this tech sprint, uh, one of the conversations that Sultan just mentioned during his keynote is around, you know, do we need a brand new thing, a shiny new object to deliver in order to reach that last mile of the unbanked? Or is this more about distribution access and building trust with both the next generation as well as current consumers uh, in the marketplace? And so we'll walk through that today to talk about how do we create the next generation of savers and investors in a trusted banking system? I'm going through. Here we go. So just a bit about uh, Tanya Van Court, the CEO and founder of Gold Setter, started this company uh, about five years ago. She's a double engineer, uh, former executive at Nickelodeon, Discovery Education, and ESPN. And in her career, what she recognizes that in the fintech space, a lot of the big financial services firms were saying, okay, how do we take what we do and just deliver it the same way to a new group of people? But what Tanya recognized is, wait a minute, I know how to deliver content to kids. Let's focus on the kids, the youth, and the families first and think about how do we bring financial technology to them. And I believe Tanya has joined. And Tanya, if you'd like to jump in at any given time, I'm happy to turn over the mic to you so you can uh, rock and roll through the presentation. No, thank you for getting us started. My apologies. I was having technical difficulties getting in. Um, Rendell shared a little bit about my background. Uh, born in Oakland, California, mom and elementary school teacher. And so everything that we do is going to look different and feel different because our DNA starts with education. Uh, I was at Nickelodeon, ran NickJr.com and Noggin.com, also at Discovery Education, where I led digital products and textbook, digital textbooks in classrooms throughout the country. And so we understand acutely well, how do we combine education and entertainment in order to deliver a product and an experience that is second to none, that is the first of its kind in the entire fintech industry. I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen right now. Um, that's a little bit about me, but telling you a little bit about Goal Setter. Goal Setter has had a lot of stops along our journey. We've been featured in the New York Times. We've been the app of the day on the Apple Store. We've even run the bell on the NASDAQ. Um, and we've been on Shark Tank. But for, the, for us, those are just stops along the path. The journey continues as long as the problem persists. And the problem is that American kids are not being prepared financially. And they're becoming American adult, adults who are not prepared financially either. Almost 80% of teenagers don't have savings accounts. Almost 90% say they don't know how to manage their money. There are only 13 states in our union that require personal finance classes in order for kids to graduate from high school. And while this is a problem that is prevalent amongst all kids, it's a crisis when you talk about the black and brown communities. The wealth gap in our country has become such a chasm that black and Latinos represent 64% of unbanked households. By 2053, African-Americans are projected to have a negative net worth, and Latinos are only 20 years behind. So we're not looking at an economic crisis. We're looking at economic apartheid in this country based on where we are with these two major communities that have been unbanked, underbanked, and not served well enough by the existing financial system. We don't think that the solution is just the company. We think about it as a movement. And we're here today because we hope to be a part of your movement. And we hope that the, FDC, the FDIC can be a part of ours, along with every one of the banks and financial institutions that you serve. The question we ask is, how do we teach kids healthy savings habits, whether they're six years old, 16 years old, or anywhere in between there, that they can carry to 26 and 36 and 46? Because we know what happens with kids when they're young predestines what happens with them as they get older. In fact, the Washington University study tells us that kids who have savings accounts in their name are not only six times more likely to go to college, they're four times more likely to own stocks by the time they're young adults. So if we can just get a savings account into the hands of every kid in America, we can change their lives. And how do we do that? We do that with a tool that is the best product for family financial health in America today. Our product we uh, think about is Nickelodeon meets FinTech because it truly takes all of the engagement, gamification, and understanding of what kids love most and brings it into the FinTech space. And that's how we look and feel different. The first thing we do is we let kids and every member of the family, including their parents, sign up to save for goals, big or small, short term or long term. We don't care what they're saving for as long as they're saving. Family members and friends can then gift them 
gold cards instead of gift cards. So they get real money towards real dreams and a real FDIC insured account for birthdays and holidays instead of getting more gift cards that just encourage them to be the next generation of spenders and senders. Parents can save their own money simply with Goal Setter by rounding up every one of their debit card purchases to the nearest $1 all the way to $5 or auto saving every week or every month. And so they can make every dime go towards something that really matters to them or to their kids. Kids can earn their own money responsibly with Goal Setter's allowance feature. And then we layer all of those savings tools with an extraordinary set of financial literacy quizzes mapped to national financial literacy standards put out by jumpstart.org. So kids are learning real things. They're rooted in memes and gifs from popular culture, YouTube personalities, and hip hop stars. So when Beyonce says, can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? We use that to explain Beyonce wouldn't need anyone to pay her bills if she would just save for an emergency fund of three to six months of her expenses. Beyonce could pay for her own bills. <clears throat> Our teen and tween debit card is groundbreaking in the industry because it pairs financial education with the debit card. We have a rule called learn before you burn where parents can activate this rule and on Sunday morning, their kid's debit card will automatically freeze if they haven't taken their financial literacy quiz for the week. And if they have, and once they take that quiz, the card will unfreeze again. And soon we'll be launching Goal Setter Invest to unlock the building blocks of financial freedom and help kids to understand the power of both saving and investing early in life not just with a tool, but with financial education and short TikTok-like videos embedded in the investment portion of our app. In February, we launched an extraordinary campaign in conjunction with the NBA Players Association called Drafted to get a million Black and Latino kids saving. Chris Paul, the all-star, kicked it off by drafting 100 kids in his hometown to get goal setter savings accounts. And then he asked, who's got next? And he passed the ball to Jalen Brown, who passed that ball to 20 other players in the NBA, all of whom raised their hands voluntarily as a part of this campaign and said, I've got next, and I want to draft kids into the League of Financial Freedom too. Russell Wilson and Sierra followed with a partnership with the NFL Players Association, and then it extended and expanded to philanthropist and entrepreneur Robert Smith, activist Tanika Mallory, actor Sterling Brown, and even into corporations across the country. Major corporations like Fiserv have now become partners of Goal Setter. Nike has become a partner of Goal Setter. And those corporations are drafting kids in their own communities to get Goal Setter savings accounts. Our partnership with Fiserv and Sterling National Bank has become a pillar for how we will move forward and continue to do this work in partnership and at a scalable level all throughout the country. We are going to reach Black and Latino families where they are. Number one, uh, banks and financial institutions can white label goal setter to provide this functionality to the kids and families in their own backyard, whether those kids and families are customers of the bank or in the communities and schools that they serve in their local area. Number two, employee benefits allows Fortune 1000 companies to offer goal setter savings accounts to every one of their employees and their families. So they're not just taking care of their employees today, they're taking care of their family members for tomorrow. And number One three, we're launching a nationwide movement to get a million black and brown kids not only saving but investing too. And Fortune 1000 companies across the country are contributing to this movement, a thousand shares of stock or cash to get to put into those kids' accounts and see those accounts. Our unique team is not only qualified because they come from banking and education and entertainment, they're qualified because they come from the communities that we're serving. There has never been a financial technology platform in this country that is run by a Black woman, serves Black and Latino communities with culturally relevant, family-friendly, game-based content, content that is education first and is trusted by the culture and is partnering with companies, banks, financial institutions, and now hopefully the FDIC in order to truly change the trajectory of America. Thank you so much for having us here today. We look forward to our opportunity to, to, to work together to bring financial freedom to every corner, every neighborhood, and every kid in our country.